While we're talking about the next generation of biotech companies, how about a biotech name that soared into the stratosphere this year, but it's just pulled back pretty dramatically in the past few weeks. It's actually giving you a good entry point right here. I'm talking about Receptos, RCPT, a biotech firm focusing on developing Im immunology drugs, okay? Now, you know I favor biotechs that are developing many big drug candidates and therefore have multiple shots on goal. But there's another approach that can create tremendous value, and that's developing one drug that can treat many different diseases, basically a pipeline in a product, not unlike what we saw from Allergan. Receptos may have one of those pipelines in a product drugs, RPC-1063, which is currently in phase three trials for relapsing multiple sclerosis and phase two trials for ulcerative uh, colitis. Uh, as a treatment for multiple sclerosis, the data shows that Receptus drug is just as efficacious as Novartis' MS pill, Galenia, which did $2.8 billion in sales last year, but with a much better safety profile. This drug has a dramatically shorter half-life. It leaves your system in a matter of days rather than a matter of months, which would give doctors a lot more flexibility in prescribing it versus Galenia. RPC-1063 could be a blockbuster with the MS indication alone, but it's put up strong results in this colitis as well. And it's also being studied for Crohn's disease and could potentially work on other autoimmune disorders like lupus or psoriasis. On top of that, Receptos has a second drug candidate in phase two development, a treatment for allergy-related immune disorders of the esophagus, an area where there's a serious unmet need. Now, Receptos did a big $360 million secondary back in November at $100 per share. Good entry point. And that's given the company a very strong balance sheet, $700 million in cash, very little debt. Stock climbed 322% last year, but in just the past few weeks alone, it's pulled back $30 from its highs, including a $9.84 decline in today's session. Are you getting a terrific buying opportunity here in one of the best-performing buyers? Text of 2014. Let's dig deeper with Fahim Hasnain. He's the president and CEO of Receptos. Find out what's ahead for his company. Mr. Hasnain, welcome to May of Money. Well, thanks for having me, Jim. Well, first I can tell you, sir, from my spies at the conference, you were the best. I'm not kidding. <laughs> my people said that you were the best. And one of the reasons why they said it is, is that your drug uh, for, uh, if, for multiple sclerosis is on so many different levels better than the standard of care right now that they're all saying this could even be a 2015 development. Is that really possible? Well, look, we're really excited, Jim, about the opportunity both in MS and, and as you pointed out, for uh, inflammatory bowel disease, which includes ulcerative colitis and Crohn's. I mean, in MS, there's such a high unmet need, and you've already laid out the fact that we do appear to have a, a better safety profile than Gelenia, which is selling $2.8 billion. Uh, we're on track to have uh, our phase threes, which is our final registrational program, read out in the 2017 time frame, and we'd be looking to have this product on the market in the 2018 time frame. Well, what I understand is if the FDA looks at your data over, say, one year and looks at the outcomes and say, you know, what, we've got people who have liver problems from glenia, we have people who have cardiac problems from glenia, we're, we're not going to wait. It, can that happen? And we saw that happen recently with a big drug from Bristol-Myers. Yeah, well, certainly uh, those types of things can happen. But, you know, our base case right now, Jim, is that uh, we will go through our phase threes and then present that data to both the FDA as well as the European uh, uh, regulatory authorities for approval in the time frame. So, uh, you know, I think we'll stick to our base case in terms of uh, our launch timing. How can one drug have so many indications? I've, I, I've honestly never heard of a drug that can do... I mean, Botox for Allergan did. Did a lot of different right. things. But this is... Uh, uh, for diseases that I didn't even think were linked to multiple sclerosis, the bowel disease you mentioned, uh, Crohn's, uh, how is it possible? Yeah, so it's a great question. Uh, so our drug, what it does is it actually uh, sequesters or locks up what we call autoreactive lymphocytes or, or blood cells that have kind of uh, gone a little haywire. Autoimmune disorders like multiple sclerosis, like inflammatory bowel disease, even rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, these are, these are inflammatory conditions. And so if we can actually control, as we do, these, these circulating lymphocytes, we can actually uh, potentially control the inflammation that ends up being the root cause of, of these different disorders. So, for instance, in the gut, there's very large uh, lymphoid organs, and so we see a lot of uh, lymphocytes trafficking through the gut. We're able to control that and thus control the inflammation. All right. Now, I... I happen to be, I live in Summit, New Jersey, and Celgene's our biggest employer. I know these guys, well, right. next to Merck, but Merck's pulling out. And I know that Bob Eugen has drugs that are very similar in that frame versus for the ones you just mentioned, autoimmune. Do you ever look at what the other guy's doing and say, you know what, we, should, we shouldn't go there because the other guy's got a better franchise than us? Yeah, we're always looking at the competitive landscape, Jim. So in multiple sclerosis, for example, we saw a really great opportunity for an oral, uh, oral compound in a disease area which has been largely marked by uh, injectables, interferons and, uh, and other injectables. And so 
the need for uh, unique, safe, and tolerable oral therapies is really significant uh, in MS as well as in inflammatory bowel disease. So we look at all of the uh, uh, compounds in, in the, in the, uh, that our competitors are developing and really trying to make sure that we're bringing something forward that's unique and differentiated and most importantly has, has a real uh, opportunity advantage to impact patients. Now you did that secondary offering, so I presume that you don't need a partner. I also presume you can keep all the rights worldwide and I presume you don't, you don't you're not really, uh, if someone wanted to buy you, I think you could say you could stand alone right? Well, look, yeah, we, uh, we're, our intention is to build a, a sustainable organization. Uh, we have RPC 1063, which you've already mentioned, and of course, it is. we do think of it as a franchise in a bottle, uh, MS and inflammatory bowel disease, but we are looking at other indications that uh, we would be able to go into within this autoimmune space. We've also in-licensed a program from AbV, RPC 4046. We're taking it into an orphan disease called eosinophilic esophagitis. And we will continue to build out our pipeline. It is our intention to build a global organization and to build an organization of, of scale and sustainability. So yes, uh, we're very happy that we've been able to raise a significant amount of capital that will be able to drive us forward. Uh, we will establish a partnership, Jim, mm -hmm. but in that context, it's really helping us uh, add to our commercial, uh, commercial might. And then over time, we'll build our own infrastructure to really be able to uh, carry our, ourselves forward. Well, I'll tell you, you've got an exciting situation. I know a lot of people say, how can a stock go up 300%? I think if they listen to what you just said, you can understand it. I want to thank Fahim Hasnain. He's president and CEO of Receptos. Thank you so much, for, sir. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me on your show. Guys, I know the stock has run a lot. I know it's pulling back. But this is the kind of company that could hit it out of the park. And that's how you have to believe in a company that has already gone up 300%. Stick with Kramer.